All right. So, uh, the R18 uh, burnt out the first hall sensor, and there is a replacement coming from China. And while I was waiting, I bought discrete part uh, ones and replaced it. And the first one that I put in worked and then burned out right away. So I've got another one in here that uh, is currently working. And hopefully the first one was just a dud. Otherwise, we'll have to figure out what this ignition module is doing to burn out hall sensors. Um, so it's time to try and start this again. I will say that uh, one thing I don't like about this model is that it is hard to empty the fuel tank because there isn't a flexible fuel line to disconnect uh, to get it to dump out. And that's it's kind of like the EM1 in that way. The EM1 also doesn't have a flexible fuel line, so it's hard to empty the fuel tank. But Let's see. All right, hopefully that's primed. Let's Oh, I definitely smell fuel, so... And you can see I moved the exhaust uh, and turned it upside down here just to get it out of the way while I was trying to get that fooling around with that sensor so much. Um, all right. Uh, the other thing is that because the spark plug has a an o-ring on it, I found that just finger tight is as tight as it needs to go, otherwise that o-ring is getting crushed and chewed up. So, alright, let's double check spark. lost spark again. So, something about this uh, ignition unit is burning up hall sensors. Um, I, I might try one more of the replacements that I bought off uh, Amazon in a big 10 pack. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to wait for the uh, replacement official parts to come in and try that one and if it immediately burns that one out then I will contact them about the ignition unit needing replacement. So, uh, I guess, yeah, so I guess we're done with this again. Um, these ignition issues are really frustrating but um, again at the price uh, like we get to do our own quality control if we were you know paying a higher price then somebody in the factory would be 
doing closer quality control, but uh, there's a reason why these engines are so economical to get a hold of. Um, and I, you know, again, personally, I really enjoy the little fiddling with them and figuring out what's going on and uh, working on them. But, you know, uh, this is already a couple hours of me testing and working on it. So if that was going into the quality control at the factory, uh, that's another, you know, uh, level of expense on the uh, on the engine, so, um, yeah, I guess we'll, uh, have to quit here and, uh, try this when I get the official part in.